I forget. So Michael had an apartment in New York, and something. I just woke up that morning. I was just like, you know what? Fuck this. I got in my car. I had my convertible, right? And I go to his apartment, and I call him. I say, yo, Michael. I said, look out your window. <laughs> I'm mad. Yeah, I'm at his apartment. I said, I, I, said, I was like, come on, man. We're going to go for a ride. Yes. He's like, huh? I was like, come on, man. Come on. We're going for a ride. And so he's like, okay, let me go tell Skip. Skip was the security yeah. guard. I was like, nah, 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 no, no security guard, just you and I today. And I just wanted to take him for a ride in Manhattan. You bold, now, Rodney. You, you bold, bold, brother. Yeah, you bold. But I also felt like I had, I had, I had built that trust in him yeah. through yeah. our process, where like I felt I could be real with him and tell him yeah. things like that. And he came down, got in the car, bro. That was the funnest day of his life. We literally was rolling down Manhattan. I never because that was the day that the Janet Jackson Black Street Ja Rule song came out and they were played on Hot 97. And he was inside of my car just going crazy. What? And people were just looking like, you know, people seeing Michael Jackson yeah, yeah, yeah. rolling yeah. in the convertible. Man, I, I did have one. Is this real? Is this really? Yeah, yeah it was. We had a couple moments like that, but that was like, that was such a surreal moment, but such a dope moment. Oh, that's, that's crazy. crazy.